Angela was born with HIV after contracting the virus from her mother, who unfortunately died earlier, leaving Angela early. <laughs> the worst was yet to come, especially with the irony of her young sister Barbara being HIV free. Angela was stigmatized by her stepmother, her own sister and father. <laughs> It took the intervention of her maternal grandmother, Maria Nariange, for Angela to be brought to Gayaza in the Wakiso district of Uganda. At first, she took her to a native doctor, but what was disclosed was never to yield any results to save Angela's life. Her father, who had brought her, never returned until the day she died. What shall we do? The old woman has never forgotten efforts by Touching Life's initiative, a local NGO that tried to save Angela's life. And when they paid her a visit, this recollection was evident. <laughs> Joey Kuganja met Angela at Kampala Junior Academy. Being a preacher of the gospel, she really saw that the young girl needed a shoulder to lean on. Well, when I looked at her, I really saw somebody that needed to be loved. Uh, I went. I first spoke to the teacher, her former teacher. So she, she told me a little bit of Angela. And then since Angela was around, I just approached her myself. I was like giving her a hand. She said, I said, no, please, shake my hand. She was like, no, are you sure? I said, she was doubting. So I stood, I gave her a hug. She cried. I was like, what are you doing? This? She told me she had never seen such. She would never believe that there's anyone who could love her. Malon Malon, an American national, was inspired by Angela's story during his work with Touching Life's initiative. Unfortunately, she died before he met her. The fact that she was a fighter and um, she wanted to make a difference, she actually wanted to start her own uh, NGO to do something for ladies who were in her situation. And um, when she passed, everybody that works with TLI was really uh, devastated. Acts of stigma Most on people living with HIV AIDS are a setback in the fight against the scourge. This is the reason why some HIV victims are coming out openly to declare their HIV status for others to emulate. One such person is Arojas Matovu, a local drama artist. I decided that now is the time to save the next generation. So many children are born with the virus that they don't know because the virus changed its goalposts. Teacher Joy and Maron agree with him, for they decry stigma that parents subject their HIV-positive children to. She didn't deserve that judgment at all, for she found herself like that. If those who could create a situation for themselves can be forgiven, then she was worthy of being loved and cared. Because what brought all this was the neglect. It takes us to a point where where we can remove that shameness and just come out and, and, and recognize that that people are human and that these are real people that are going through these uh, challenges. And so I think it's going to help um, with the awareness and for people to come out. Maria Nariange's wish is to have a stigma-free society against 
people living with HIV AIDS to give them a second chance at life. Even as she affords a smile once in a while, the memory of her late granddaughter Angela seems to disturb her. Henry Okrut, UBC.